Hey there, YouTube. Uh, this is like a little follow-up to the one. I don't know. If, well, uh, I'll put it up anyway. Um, and basically, it was a big, uh, like pancakey type. Uh, let me move this out of the way. Actually, there we go. Look, but I did a bigger one. Um, I am gonna. I will put that first bit up. I think. Yeah. Um, what I've done, look, I've made some adjustments. I've turned this into DC by giving it a uh, a halfway rectification and giving it five volts a regulator. But basically, it's so I can charge a phone with it. And first of all, I was just going to show you with this LED as I just turn on the power lock. As you can see. It does get quite bright, the LED. I turn that off. It sounds pretty good. Um, I don't know if I get it much brighter. Yeah, that is, wow, that's very bright actually. That is yeah, quite a, not that much of a distance. But quite a bit of a distance. So, just put that light on there, turn that down there. Um, now, what I also wanted to, uh, well, I didn't want to, I didn't think about it like this, but I did notice that this thing got up to 4 amps on here. Uh, if I turn this up, look, especially 3 amps tops, look. There we go, 4. So the efficiency isn't so good, as you can probably tell anyway, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take this LED off, put it back over, I'm going to take this LED off um, and have it just so it's just that and the 5 volts go into the, the phone connection, then we're going to plug a phone onto it and we'll see this little wireless baby uh, charges the phone. I don't know it does, but just for demonstration purposes. Thinking about it, I'm just going to add this to the end of the video. Probably make it quite long, but it's, um, yeah. So there's the circuit anyway. So we've got, I think about 35 turns here um, of this magnet wire. And then with the, it's got a UF diode there, uh, for 4007. And across it, as you can see, look, positive side goes to the positive side of the output here. Uh, with the capacitor, 100 nanofarads, microfarads even. And then just using a 5 volt regulator. Input, middle and common. On the right, you've got the output. And then that just goes to the, uh, the mini USB. So I'll have to put this on here, like this. No, this is just so because we've got wires here. The wires here it doesn't matter so much where the magnetic side, the, the magnet wire is because it won't. It's insulated, but we don't want those touching. So um, the transistors here look. So this is the receiver side. Now look, this is the. That's for the receiver. Simple enough. I'm going to assume just looking at it that it's um, feeding the power in um, and it's just going to be switching it on and off isn't it as that flux builds up something like that this was quite difficult to keep this nice and compact but this is just a, a lead and a tip 35 I want to put it on a heat sink really we're going to run it for any length of time <coughs> um, as it does get warm not overly hot but it, it I'm sure this chip would get quite warm um, if it didn't have the heat sink there. So I'm going to put this baby on and, and plug a phone in. I've got to just shift this phone round, swap this one over because I'm going to plug this one in. Oh, it doesn't actually matter which one I plug in, does it? Plug in the one I've got in my hand. Oh, hold on. Then. So I'll just swap these phones over, put this in. This in here. 
sure these wires aren't touching. Lights up. Should have a little red charging light on when that goes out. Can't remember why it takes for it to go out. It's good fun though, I like this uh this Samsung. There you go, you've got the charging light on. I don't know how long um, how long it will take to charge. I really don't, but I suppose in, in theory, in, you know, in um, principle, it, it works. Sixteen watts. Probably still have it working a little bit less. Cause it's supposed to work from about one and a half. Charge. There we go. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.